Good morning, grade 3. Okay, so in this blog, uh, we learned about different kinds of movement that animals do. Right, so uh, we learned about uh, how animals fly and swim, and then how some animals, they run or walk and they jump, and how their body parts help them in this kind of movement. Uh, in today's lesson, we are going to learn about uh, some more movements done by animals okay uh, for example uh, animals that live on land uh, running walking or jumping is not the only way of movement there are some other uh, movements that are done by animals uh, such as um, animals such as koalas squirrels or uh, koalas squirrels uh, they mostly spend their time on trees okay uh, these animals these animals i'm not saying that they do not they never walk on land of course they do walk on land but most of their movement is done on trees okay they can move from one tree to the other tree or they can climb trees easily now which body parts help them to do this now these animals which are very good or very expert in climbing trees will have claws okay claws are just like nails that we have but they are much more longer and they are much more stronger than the nails that we have okay so these claws help animals to climb trees these uh, these kind of animals like squirrels koalas uh, what they do is they can use their claws to hold on to the branches and the trees and help themselves to climb okay if they feel like they're slipping off the tree they can easily use their claws to hold on to the to the tree in a tight in a tight way so that they do not slip off the tree okay so animals that can climb trees uh, have strong claws in them which help them to climb up and down a tree easily that's why these animals spend most of their time uh, on a tree okay but there are also some other animals which spend most of their time on trees but they do not have claws they do not use their claws for example uh, monkeys or langurs orangutans these are they all belong to the uh, to one family of animals and these animals they do not have claws but they spend most of their time on trees okay they can swing from one branch to the other branch of a tree they can climb really high uh, and even even in babies even in the even in babies of this kind of animals as soon as they are born they have the ability to uh, swing from one branch to other branch but these animals langurs or monkeys or orangutans they do not have claws but then what helps them to do this kind of movement well uh, they have uh, four legs now these four legs have they also have fingers okay now these fingers are pretty long these fingers are so long that they can easily hold on to a branch now uh, this their long hands they, they also have long hands and long feet now these long hands this feet this kind of feet and the fingers and the long fingers that they have all these help them to hold on to a branch tightly and because of this they can easily swing from one branch to other branch okay and uh, so now you know that animals that can climb they do not only have claws but they can also have long fingers or they also have long hands and feet hands and legs which help them to do so now uh, for climbing for climbing uh, animals there are see uh, these animals that climb trees they also walk on the ground using those legs that they have but it's just that they spend most most of their movement is done through climbing okay or in case of monkeys and langurs swinging from one branch to other branch it's very easy for them because their body has been made in that way they use their long legs and uh, long fingers uh, to help to grasp a branch tightly and move from one swing from one tree to the other tree okay now there are also some other animals uh, uh, now we are we are done with running walking or jumping 
and then crawling climbing trees now uh, you must know that there are there will also be some other kinds of movements done by animals to move from one place to another right uh, for example moles moles how do they move around they move around under the ground by digging holes right this is just an example so uh, movement in animals depends mostly on what kind of place they live in what kind of food they eat okay and um, how their body parts are made to do those movement okay so that's all for today i'll see you in next class